Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you how to record your in-game chat audio into your Elgato capture card. So this is for people who play online and are on a chat, whether it's a party chat, in-game chat, anything really that has you speaking to other players online and then you can hear them speaking and you wanna capture that audio into your Elgato capture card. By default, the Elgato capture card only captures audio from the game. Now in the software, you can connect the microphone into the computer to capture your audio commentary. But to capture the audio from the other players speaking, you have to do a process. And here I'm gonna show you the cheapest and easiest way to get that going. So you're gonna need a few things. You're obviously gonna need a game chat headset. You're also gonna need your controller for your, if you have Xbox or PS4, I use PS4. For the Xbox, I believe you need an adapter that gives you the ability to connect the headset. Um, but the PS4 is built in. You're gonna need a CTIAY cable. Now this cable has a male 3.5 millimeter TRRS. On the other side, it splits to two female inputs, one for microphone and one for headphones. You're also gonna need a Y splitter with a female 3.5 millimeter jack. On the other side of that cable, it'll have two 3.5 millimeter TRS male jacks one for headphones, one for microphone. You're also gonna need a headphone splitter, which is essentially male 3.5 millimeter TRS jack, with the other side being two female 3.5 millimeter jacks. And on top of that, you're gonna need a male to male 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. A lot of people refer to this as an aux cable. And the last thing you're gonna need is another microphone that connects to your computer, a USB microphone to capture your audio. You're gonna take the CTIAY cable and plug in the male side into the PS4 controller or if you have the Xbox controller, whichever controller you have for your headset. So this one splits out microphone, headphone. Then you take your headset, get the bottom of the cable. Now the end of your headset cable should be a TRRS. So you have three black strips. Then you're gonna take this splitter that has the female jack on one side and the Y 3.5 millimeter TRS male jacks on the other side. You're gonna connect the male headphone TRRS male jack into this female cable. And now your headset will split out its microphone and headset audio separately. Now some headsets already have these jacks separated. They don't come in a singular TRRS male jack like this one does. If you have one that already has these jacks built in, then you can skip getting this cable. But most people have this. So now that the headphone audios are split, bring back your controller that has the CTIA Y cable connected into it. You're gonna take the microphone to microphone and connect that male jack into the female. Now do not connect the headphone to headphone. Leave that open. What you need to do is bring in your headphone splitter. Now you're gonna connect the male side of the headphone splitter into the headset part of the CTIAY cable that's connected into the controller. Take the male headset jack that's left over from your headset splitter and connect that into any of these two female jacks. And this leftover female headset jack needs to be connected into the 3.5 millimeter male to male cable. Now for this male to male cable, I highly suggest getting a long one. Get a 15 foot, 20 foot cable because this cable has to connect all the way to your Elgato capture card, which is most likely near your computer. So again, take this remaining female jack and connect the male 3.5 millimeter stereo there. And you're gonna connect the other end of the male cable into your Elgato capture card. So to recap, this is how it should look. Controller, CTIY cable, male connected into the controller. Headset of the CTIY cable into a headphone splitter, male with two females on the other side. Gaming headset, male jack connected into a splitter with female side here. Male microphone jack going into the CTIAY female microphone jack. Male headphone jack going into the female headphone splitter, aux cable or 3.5 millimeter male to male jack going into the other female splitter, the other end of the male to male cable going directly into the Elgato capture card.
hopefully this made sense to you. In the description of this video is a list of everything you need. So that way, in case you guys missed it throughout the video, you guys can just look and use that as a checklist. So when you, you know, buy these things online. All right, so now that we have everything connected, before we launch OBS, we actually have to launch the Elgato Game Capture HD software. So go ahead and open that up. If you haven't already downloaded that, make sure you download that from their website. Now it's going to start initializing your capture card for me, it's the Game Capture HD 60S. So here you can actually see what's coming in from the PlayStation. Right now, the audio and the video are coming out of the HDMI, but we have to change the audio source to come out from the analog from that 3.5 millimeter jack. So we're gonna go right here to where it says Game Capture HD 60S. To the right of that, there's a little gear symbol. That's for the settings. Show device settings, click on that. And now when that opens up under capture, the first tab, the third option down says audio input. Now you're gonna click on that and you're gonna choose analog audio for the Game Capture HD 60S. This is for that 3.5 millimeter jack that we're plugged into on the Elgato Capture HD 60S. Select that and go ahead and press OK. Now you can go ahead and close the Elgato Capture HD software. And then now we can launch OBS. All right, so here we are in OBS. The first thing we're gonna do is add the game feed from the Elgato Capture card. Go to where it says sources and then there's a plus symbol. Click on that and then you'll see a list of options. And then you're gonna go to video capture device. Then go ahead and name that whatever your game console is and then click OK. And then you'll get a preview of the actual feed. If you don't, then go ahead and click on device and then you'll get a drop down menu and then you can click on your capture card. Now, if you look at the audio mixer, you'll have desktop audio and PS4. Take the slider from desktop audio and take it all the way down to negative infinity dB, which pretty much means no sound. Also in the audio mixer, under the desktop audio slider, you'll see one for the console that you named. For me, it's PS4. And here you'll see audio levels moving, coming out from your remote controller. So everything that we connected earlier is actually coming out from your game controller. Now, if you have people in your chat, that audio level will be moving. However, it's not gonna be playing any of your actual game audio from the game itself. So in order for you to actually hear the game and the chat, you have to hold your PlayStation button down on your remote controller. And then you're gonna go to sound devices. Then from there, you're gonna go down to where it says output to headphones and change chat audio to all audio. And then you can go ahead and go back. Now it's very important to know, yes, you are getting your chat audio and your game audio from the same source, but the audio where you are speaking, that has to come in from that USB microphone that I mentioned earlier. The mic on your headset is only for people in the chat to hear you, but it's actually not being captured into your live stream or into your recording. Now, before I show you how to use your USB microphone, make sure that you monitor the audio levels on the audio mixer for your game console and make sure that it's not clipping. Make sure it's not going into the red. It's not going too loud. You wanna be able to hear your game and hear the people in your chat. Since both are coming out of the same audio source, you're gonna to have to make sure that you adjust the levels from your game audio and your chat in the system itself, in the actual game console. So if the volume is not coming out loud enough, hold your PlayStation button again, go to sound devices, and then above output to headphones, you can change the volume control for your headphones. So if the volume is not loud enough, you can raise it up here, or if the volume is too loud, you can lower it here. So here is where you're gonna choose how loud you want it to come out into OBS. You can also adjust the slider on the audio mixer in OBS for your game console in order to find that sweet spot that you need for your game audio. So your audio levels might be different than my audio levels, depending on what settings you choose, but let me kind of show you what my audio levels are. When I play Call of Duty, the gunfire and the helicopters, all that stuff is really loud. So I actually have to go into the options in Modern Warfare, go to audio, and then here, I actually change the music volume from 100 down to 30. And then I go to the effects volume and I change that down to 30 as well. Now the people on my chat are generally still a little too low. So I changed the voice chat volume from 100 
to 200. So those are the three settings that I adjust when I play Modern Warfare. So you might have to adjust the audio level coming out of your headphones from the remote controller of your game console. For me, it's a PS4 controller. And you'll have to adjust the slider in OBS for the audio mixer of your game console. And you might also have to adjust the in-game audio levels from the game itself. For me, Modern Warfare, making the three adjustments that I showed you. So it is gonna take a few tries for you to find that sweet spot where everything sounds pretty even. All right, so now that you have all that set up, now it's time to hook up your USB microphone, the microphone that's actually gonna be used to capture your audio into your stream or recording. Go back down to sources and click on the plus once again. Then you're gonna go up to audio input capture. Select that, then name that whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna call mine my mic. Then click OK. Then you'll see where it says device. Click on that and then you'll have a drop down menu. I'm actually using a wireless microphone system with the receiver plugged into my actual computer via 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. So for me, it would be microphone Realtek R audio. However, with most USB microphones, the device should be labeled USB blank, whatever the name or brand of your microphone is. Select your microphone and then press OK. And then under audio mixer, now you'll see whatever you named your microphone. And then here you can adjust the slider in OBS to get the audio level to exactly where you need it. So by now you should have already gotten the chat audio and your game audio to a pretty good balanced sweet spot where everything sounds pretty even. Now what you're gonna have to do is do a few test recordings with your microphone plugged in, your microphone that's actually capturing your audio, and then try to match that to around the audio level of your chat audio. And that way you, everybody else in the chat, and your game all sounds pretty even. Get to the roof, get to the roof, get to the roof. Ah! Boom, got another one. Let's go, baby. Is that is that a teammate? <laughs> nah, there's still no, one of them ran away. Got you. This seat spot. But he's he's inside that building yeah, still. Look at where the look at where the I know, but make it Oh, quick. he's right here. He's the other one's right here. So there you guys have it. That's how you capture game audio, chat audio, and your audio all in one using OBS. If you guys are interested in learning how to live stream using OBS, where you can output to Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all at the same time, I have another video on that process. I have a link in the description, as well as videos on how to add an overlay or use a webcam to have your face on screen. Or if you don't wanna use OBS and you actually wanna use the Elgato HD capture software for your live streams or recording, where you can also hear game chat audio, I do have a video on that as well. Links for all of those videos are in the description. If you're interested in getting any of the equipment or the cables that I mentioned earlier, I do have links in the description or you can purchase them from either b &H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.